guys, today I am here with an unboxing and first impressions kind of try on style video for you um, from the brand Sleek Makeup. If you're not familiar with them, they are based out of the UK. I think they're actually one of the first brands I ever purchased from online. Um, that and probably BH Cosmetics. When I first started watching YouTube videos, I was like, wow, they make some gorgeous stuff. It's very affordable because it's a drugstore brand from the UK. And I hate to say it, but their packaging truly is very sleek. It doesn't come with like cheap wear brushes. It's just like in this great, beautiful um, kind of black packaging and such amazing colors. So if you're of a deeper skin tone, like they have every shade of blush. I think I'm gonna do like a sleek makeup kind of brand roundup if you'd like to see that because I've got a ton of favorites from this brand, but uh, they sent me this package to try out is their new nautical collection and then I think a few other things. I took a look in the box, but um, I have, you know, just my face makeup on right now and then I'm going to kind of put this on for you, show you some swatches and uh, give you my kind of first impressions on this new collection. So let's go ahead and get started, take a look at everything in the box. So this is everything they sent me here. The first item is the Nautical Collection Calm Before the Storm palette. So this is the eyeshadow palette from the Nautical Collection. It's called Calm Before the Storm. I only own one other eyeshadow palette from Sleek. So this is like a nice selection of neutrals. And then of course some blue and kind of sea green shades in there. So this is the whole palette swatched out. These three shades along the bottom here swatched like an absolute dream. So did these first three shades here. These um, kind of blue shades are a little bit uh, chalky because there is some glitter in there. And then these two shades were gorgeous and then this one was a little bit chalky as well. Moving on to the next thing in the package, it is their Nautical Collection Blush by Three palette. I love these Blush by Three palettes. Same kind of black packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this is what it looks like inside. The first shade here, this one is called Calypso Island, then Phoenix Sand, which looks kind of like a highlight, and then uh, Coral Dune. And they feel super soft as well, but like not so soft that they're gonna kick up a ton of pro like powder when you go to put them on. So here are the three blushes here. It says that it has two shimmers and a matte, but honestly, they all look kind of matte to me. I was expecting this one to have some more shimmer, but I could really use it as kind of like a matte highlight, I guess, on my on my cheekbones or even to set my under eye. Um, but these two, this is a gorgeous berry, and then that is a great kind of orange. I love a good orange blush. So the last part of the Nautical Collection is the Ready to Sail Lipstick. It is a semi-matte, and I know that sleek lipsticks come in this cute little stubby packaging. Um, but I've never tried um, a sleek lipstick before. So this is what it looks like. It's a really little stubby package. Just to kind of compare it to a regular size lipstick, this is like a Maybelline um, creamy matte lipstick. So that is what that looks like. It's kind of like a reddy coral orange, super pretty. Then they also sent along two of their Ooh La La liners, which are waterproof and smudge proof. These come in like, I think 20 different shades. And they sent it in the shade Blue Moon, which is a blue, and Noir, which is a black. And these are pencils that you sharpen. Yeah. So these are pretty creamy with like a slight waxiness to them, not too creamy. So that one there is Noir, and then this one here is Blue Moon. And then the last thing they sent along is their brand new Cream to Powder Blush. I've never tried one of these, but I do love sleek blushes in general. They're some of my favorites. So you can see the packaging is like so narzy and beautiful and then that is the color there, pink peony. And this is a cream to powder blush that's supposed, still supposed to give you kind of like a bit of a dewy finish. It does feel like pretty emollient, I guess you could say, but it is a gorgeous bright pink color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this all on my face and let you know what I think about it. I'm gonna start with the uh, Nautical Collection palette and I'm gonna go with a kind of a neutral eye because the lipstick is red and I don't feel like rocking a blue eye and red lip today. So I'm just gonna start by running this lighter matte color through my crease and I did put down a little bit of eye primer, the Lorac. So this is actually super pigmented, way more pigmented than I had expected. Then I'm gonna lay down or try and pack on some of this orange shade, I feel like, or kind of peachy shade. I feel like this may be better wet, but let's see what it's like. And this does have uh, a bit of glitter in it, and it seems like I got a little bit of glitter fallout on my cheek, and it does definitely transfer. I'm getting, a, it is a little bit powdery. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the uh, kind of darker brown shade in here, 
and just lay it on my outer V and I'm gonna use a little sponge that comes with it. It's probably the first and last time I'll use this little sponge. So I don't know if you can see, but I got a good bit of fallout here from that orange shade. So the actual um, kind of glitter that was in it and the actual orange shadow itself. Then I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the palette and just put a little bit under my brow bone. I think it's pretty pigmented. And uh, some in my inner corner as well. And I'm just gonna smudge a little bit of the lighter brown that I used initially in the crease under my lower lash line. So then I'm gonna put the uh, Ooh La La liner. like this liner super creamy but not um, too creamy it's a little bit of a waxiness to it now moving on to cheeks I'm gonna use both of the blushes I'm gonna use the cream to powder and then I'm gonna put the powder over it just to see what it's like um, but I'm gonna use an elf small stipple brush with this my advice would be to instead of kind of blending it into your skin just kind of stipple it on the blushes had some time to set and it does feel like a powder there's a little bit of dewiness on my skin, but it does feel like it's kind of setting into a powder. Then I'm going to use this kind of orangey blush from the Blush Trio. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Then I'm gonna take the lighter shade and just see what it happens, see what happens when I put it on top of my cheekbones. So I feel like I could use this one as like a matte highlight, which is kind of interesting. Then to finish it all off, I'm going to do my lips with this Ready to Sail lipstick. It has no scent at all. Mmm, woohoo, I love this color. It's more orangey red than, uh, than I had expected. So this is the finished look here with the Nautical Collection, the new Nautical Collection from Sleek along with their new powder, cream to powder blush. So overall, I would say that I really like this new collection. The eyeshadows are a little bit powdery, but just I would say put your eye makeup on before your face makeup, but they're a great price. I think it's like $14.99 and you get a really awesome uh, kind of cool selection of colors. I don't own many blues, so that'll be cool to put those to use. The uh, blush palette is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with their blush palettes. If I was to recommend anything from Sleek and from this collection specifically, I would recommend the a blush palette or maybe the lipstick from the collection, but just from Sleek in, in, like, in its totality, I would recommend their blushes. The Cream to Powder blush is gorgeous. I would love to have had that during the summer, but I'll definitely be able to put it to use during the winter too. And I love the liner as well. I never use liner like that um, to do my winged liner, and it wasn't actually too hard, and I feel like it's gonna stay in my waterline um, for a little while. So I'll try and leave down below um, how everything kind of lasted throughout the day because I'm getting ready to go to work now. Thank you so much to Sleek for uh, sending it along so I could give it a try. Let me know what your favorites are from Sleek down below if you're, or if you're gonna try it. I'll link to them. I'm not like affiliated with them in any way. Um, but they are actually a truly, really, really cool, uh, affordable brand out of the UK. Okay, something unique too. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!